between 100 girls. Some will be interested, some won't be. Some will be very interested. You know, you won't get slapped. That only happens in Hollywood. You'll be rejected hard, but like I said, that's part of frustration, being rejected, and you can't handle it, don't, you don't play the game. But if, you guys have to figure out your law of averages. How many girls do you have to approach? If you want to date an extra three women a week, how many, how many girls do you have to approach a week? It would be three. Ten, it could be a hundred, it could be fifty, it could be twenty. If you want to date an extra three women a week, I mean, that's what you're going to figure out. There's something learned here, you may want to write this down. Why day game? Why day game over night game? And what, I mean, what's, so, what's so good about day game? Well, one, you don't have to compete with music. And I mean, night game, and by the way, for night game, I mean, if you do want to learn night game, Moxie, I've known Moxie, he's not only a good friend, but a colleague. He is there long term for his students. I'm like, if you do call him up seven months after the workshop, he is there to answer your course, if that's something you're interested in. But you don't think, you don't, you don't have to yell, you don't have to lean in. I mean, basically, you use your bedroom voice, you use the voice that you're using now. That's a great thing about dating is you don't have to stand out, you don't have to do much to stand out. You don't have to yell at people for music. Reason number two is you're not forced to compete. Here's the thing, during the day, you're not competing against, you're not competing with anyone. There's no other guy, there's no other guy will dare approach a girl. You, you might find it humorous to know that most guys don't approach girls at all. They don't have the confidence to do it during the day. You might see an attractive girl and they get freaked out, they don't do it. If you can do it, if you can sum up the courage, and I'll show you how in a second, if you can sum up the courage to talk to, to just open, you will stand out a mile away. Reason number three, and this is a good one, there's no party girls. I mean, during the day, it's, uh, you get non-party persona. So some girls at bars and clubs, obviously they're going to fit the social uh, profile there of being bitchy or being arrogant or maybe just, hey, I want to go dance, my friends know, or hey, I, you know, I want to go dance, or I want to go to a different club, here's my phone number, with no intention of really talking to you or answering the calls. I mean, take this example. Who do you think is relationship material? This girl? Obviously you see I'm not a big fan of Paris Hilton, but that girl, or do you think this girl? Or this girl? Which one do you think is easy to talk to? Which one do you think you won't have to fight for attention to get? You won't have to, you might have that girl, not the barbarian girl, or that girl. Day game is, is different in, in so many aspects, but it's so much more easier. A lot of guys think, oh, it's so difficult, you know. But really, you don't need funny routines. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you need attraction stories, that's huge. But you don't need to have out there routines. You, can't, you don't have to have high energy. If you do have high energy, they'll think you're on drugs. They'll think there's something weird about you. I know it's happened to me before. I thought, I thought because no one was teaching this. I was the first ever to make pickup videos. I was the first ever to actually film it and put it online. When I first did it, I had no idea about day game. I learned by practice, trial and error. I took my night game, my, the, what I did at night, and I just transferred it to day. And I got some pretty weird reactions. <laughs> like I freaked out, seriously freaked out a lot of girls. <laughs> Reason number four is, you know, if you do get laid, you don't know how. You don't know how, or, you know, how you got laid, you don't know. I mean, you wake up in the morning, I've had a few of those, you wake up in the morning, you think, man, like, what did I, what did I do right, what did I do wrong? How can I get consistency of that? Secure attention. Why, I mean, why did I play the clip at the beginning of that hot girl, what was her name, Megan Fox, the Foxy Megan Fox? To get your attention, right? I secure attention. It's like the newspapers. If you don't stand out, people aren't going to pay attention to you. You've got to secure attention. Get her attention by standing out, being different, being unique. And you do that by a number of ways. You do it by the way you approach. Has anyone seen that pick up video before? By the way you approach. Approaching in the street. Not being I mean, not being like too confrontational, not being too in their face. If you're too in their face, they'll be, they'll be freaked out thinking, does this guy want spare change? And by the way, dress, don't dress like a bum as well. Dress nice. Dress real. Like, don't you have to dress, dress in a suit or wear a suit or anything. 
<laughs> dress well because you stand out a mile away, you secure attention by that. People will give you second looks. They'll give you a third look sometimes if you dress well during the day. You know, I mean, this clip up, this, this clip's famous. It's had over half a million views alone on YouTube. Do you think two girls like these get approached by a guy like me every day? And I'm not confident. By the way, I told you before, there is something you need to know. I'm not confident. I'm not witty. Some guys say to me, and some guys said before, you know, talk at day game. I'm not the most confident guy out there. There are a lot of guys who are good at day game, better at day game. I'm one of the good ones, though. There's a lot of guys out there who actually do this and live this lifestyle and who don't and make videos. I, I'm not as smart as the tool in the toolbox, right? Everything I say, you might think, oh, it's so witty. And everything he says, it's just so suave and improv. Like, he comes, like I come, with it, come up with it at the same time, but not really. Everything I've said, I've said hundreds of times before. It sounds like spontaneous, but it isn't. It's very far from being spontaneous. <coughs> I practice at home in front of the mirror. I practice over and over again until it is second nature. So when a girl gives me a test or a challenge, I have something to say. I have something to say, funnier and faster. It only comes with preparation and practice. This is hard work. This isn't easy. But it comes across smooth is because I've said it so many times. The conversation starts, I've said thousands of times before. I practice those over and over again, saying, the tonality, the modulation, the intonation, the way I speak, deep in my voice. Yeah, I wasn't. I always had a high-pitched voice. In fact, I used to do singing lessons. I wanted to be uh, an opera singer. That's what I wanted to do originally. But I had this really high-pitched voice. I mean, that's good but if you want to be a tenor. But I did. I paid good money. I pulled myself. I, I had to work in a bar for about six months just to pay my singing lessons, my singing teaching lessons. It wasn't cheap. And he says, Alex. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to deepen your voice. You can practice this. You can deepen your voice. You can speak slower. Like Moxie said, 